Hello beautiful souls, it's Mary Rose from PsychicSoulmateReading.com. This video is a tarot reading for our week ahead and it doesn't matter even if you're watching this way after the date that I've uploaded, it doesn't matter because something drew you, something drew you to watch this video that the message and the reading is intended for you. That's the way spirit guides work. And if you're noticing that maybe a couple of things are not quite resonating all at once, then just visit back because maybe some things have to unfold in your life for the reading to take effect. And if it is resonating with you, first time watching this, keep visiting back because you'll notice that there's some more messages that are in here. Okay, I've always encouraged my clients to record your readings and their readings. And it, you know what? That was back in the day with tape recorder. So that's the readings always um, like they would listen to it later and they go, wow, I didn't realize that some things had to unfold in my life for more to take because it, it makes sense, but then it makes even more sense as time goes on. It's amazing how it works, okay? And yeah, so I've been doing this for a really long time. Even my recorded videos, like what I'm doing here, um, do the same thing for everybody. Like they say the same thing. <laughs> it's like they say to me, Mary, are you talking to me? And uh, I'm like, yeah, I'm just allowing spirit to just translate the message and to just use me as the facilitator to give you a message. That's the way it works, yeah. Okay, so I am working with today the Everyday Witch Tarot and I just love these cards. They're so adorable. OMG. <laughs> I just love them. They're just so cute and in every picture there's a there's a witch hat or a cat. <laughs> you know how I feel about cats. So anyways, I've already dealt the cards and I have put them out for, for us. Okay, the first card is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is thinking about the past. It's nostalgia. nostalgia. Too much in the head, too much... Um, well, I always give you both sides because there's a positive side and there's a negative side of that, okay? Because the past is what shapes us. The past is our memories. The past we hold on to and it shapes us of who we are. It gives us our, our status, you know, in, in a way. It's like, it tells us, it gives us, it's, but in another way too, it's holding on to the past, holding on to a past trauma, holding on to the ego, holding on to something that uh, maybe no longer serves you. So there's a, there's a several couple, there's a few meanings that, um, that meet, that represent the Six of Cups. For you today, I'm getting that you need to let go of something and, um, it's about just receiving whatever it was that you got, like it's a memory that you're holding on to, but you need to let go. You know, sometimes we hold a little too tightly onto the past and we get a little emotional and we feel a little, um, you know, we get upset, we get ourselves upset sometimes and it just, or, you know, say for instance, maybe somebody is reminding you of your past. Somebody is coming into, somebody came into your life that was from your past that reminds you, you know, like, oh, I haven't seen you in a long time. And then you kind of bring your story from your past to that person. Well, how you, like, you, you know, like they'll ask you, well, how are you doing? How's this? And how's that person doing in your life? And, you know, maybe you've moved on from something. So it's actually, it brings up stuff from your past. And um, there's nothing wrong with that, but then there can be some drawbacks to it that make you feel depressed. I know, it happens to all of us, it happens to the best of us. You know, what it means is that if something, if triggers come up, they're actually, it's a message for you to look at what it is that's bringing those things up and why, and maybe you haven't let go of it, like there's an issue. Because we get triggers as a gift, I always say triggers are a bit of a gift because sometimes we get a trigger and we don't even realize that it's actually the universe's way people come into our lives or they trigger us in some way because maybe we are holding on to something that no longer serves us or it's like a resentment or a pain, guilt, shame, whatever that may be. We might be holding on to it and we are telling ourselves that story. We are reliving that story over and over. And by reliving that story, we are not enjoying life. We are not looking at the possibilities because there's beautiful things that are in front of us, but we can't see it. We can't see the love of our life in front of us because we are holding on to that story because it's it's just the way it is and I have to hold on to it and I have to be the victim. And yes, I'm going back into the shadow of the victim. So I, I guess it's, I guess there's a lot of people that are watching this that it might be um, hitting onto your shadow um, of being a victim or somebody that was just very draining, somebody that was really negative. You know, we, we got to catch ourselves. It's not to say that we need to sweep it underneath the rug. No, I'm not talking about sweeping it underneath the rug. I'm talking about actually looking at it and just saying, okay, well, 
does that is that here do i really need to be looking at this and today like today does it really matter does it really make a difference it's the past and maybe somebody from your past is entering your life maybe there is somebody in a, in a positive note if, if, if those things don't resonate maybe it's something that's positive like in a way that when i say positive there's everything has of light and dark shadow to it okay so but when i say positive i mean like somebody is you know you haven't seen in a long time but they do come with i still have to say with some triggers but at the same time everybody has a everybody gets triggered <laughs> or if you're human you're gonna get triggered it's just we all have egos and we are here on earth to heal um those triggers when i say that it's like we come into we come onto earth um as a as a way to this is school and if we are learning, we are learning, yes, and we are working over the things that trigger us. And when we get triggered, we are meant to let go of that. But it's not easy to say, oh, just let go of it. No, it's just because we identify ourselves with it so tightly that, you know, we're sometimes we're paralyzed with that PTSD fear. And it's like, trust me, I know I've been there. <laughs> I know how it is. And still, you know, I, I have to tell you, I hear you. But it's like something that you need to just look at and say, okay, well, does this really serve me? Okay. And people come into our lives, like I said, and loved ones come into our lives to actually bring a beautiful message and to actually heal our hearts. And if you're seeing a long lost friend or somebody, or you're waiting for that person to re-enter your life, well then you got to let the two things, okay, that person comes into your life from your past, giving you this enormous amount of love and, and healing energy. Yes, it's beautiful seeing somebody, a, f a friend or family, whatever. Beautiful. It's awesome. But then there's also the person that comes into our life or waiting or we're wait, they're, they're separated from that person and we're waiting for them to come back into our life. And we tend to just wait and wait and we're dwelling into the past and we're dwelling and dwelling and dwelling. And we have an, a story and an expectation and we don't allow anybody else to enter our life because we're waiting for that person because that's the person for us. And I'm not saying that, that that's not going to happen. What I'm just trying to say is that it's if you're waiting for that, your waiting is not a good um, a good thing. So it's it's actually just accept it for the way it is and just move on and just you know it's not always as it seems. Things are always not always as they seem. Okay. The second card is the Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords is showing rest slowness have you been feeling tired have you been feeling a little fatigued have you been kind of feeling a little bit out of it this is telling you that you need the rest you've been working overworking yourself with burdens and you've been carrying too many burdens we don't realize that and it happens to me too you know i care we carry on so much burdens on our shoulders we stress about things or we're just we just want to get everything done right away. We want to try to control it and try to be, make it be. But you know what? It ain't going to happen that way because, you know, I always say it's it's 3D time. It's like we live in the 3D world. It's like, yeah, we live in a 3D world, but we don't have to. We can be in the positive universe of just going with the flow. So you need to get some rest. And this also says that you need to get some sleep too, some self-care. Um, Four Swords is sleep. <laughs> And it's like, you probably need some sleep. I like to get at least, um, I try, I try um, eight hours of sleep. Now I wear a Fitbit and I wear it to bed and I wear it to give me, to give me more, um, to, to tell me how long have I been sleeping. It sometimes it tells me six hours. And I got, oh, I got to beat that. I got to beat my scores. <laughs> That's right. It's not only with working out, like to look at my, um, you know, my fitness training, but I also look at my sleep pattern as well. Like, and you know, like we do food journals and, you know, I do, I do sleep journals, but sometimes we don't realize that we get up in the middle of the night. This tells me if my heart rate is, um, is that sleep rate. It tells me how deep I get. Well, okay. I'm not here to advertise about fit, but, but you get the idea. You get the picture. Sleep is how important it is. And to me it is. And if we don't get enough sleep, what happens when you're, when you don't get enough sleep, you're groggy, you're hungry, you want more of the junk food. You want coffee. Well, coffee, I have to have coffee, but we tend to live on caffeine to just give us that, um, that artificial pick me up. Coffee's healthy. Don't get me wrong, but too much can actually set you back. So it's actually telling you that you need to take some time out, you know, and to sleep, you know, How's your bed? Like, you know, make sure your bed's nice and comfortable. Sometimes 
we have too much stuff underneath our bed. Sometimes we need to do some dusting. Sometimes we need to clear some things in our room that prevents us from sleeping. I'm just giving you an example because I do know that for me, if my room is not like cleansed and it's my sanctuary and if I'm if it's not right then I will not have a good night's sleep it's very important so I have to tell you that sleep is for not only well makes you feel good and refreshed it's it's for your health it's essential because when you don't get enough sleep you know what you can actually cause brain damage it's true you can actually when some people don't sleep for it like they only have like four to five hours of sleep that's not healthy that's not healthy. Your body needs to recuperate. Your body needs to heal, replenish those cells. It needs to recover. And if you're not sleeping at least, I'm just going to say at least seven and a half, eight hours, if you're not having that, then you're actually going backwards. You need to have at least enough sleep. And if you feel that you, you kind of jittery and you get up in the middle of the night, well, you know what? Um, you know, I the only thing I can tell you is to do some deep breathing because that helps me to sleep, to get a good night's sleep, you know? And, you know, I know that you're probably thinking, okay, I wanna know about this and I don't wanna know about my sleep, but yeah, if you're not wanting to listen to it and you're thinking that you get enough sleep for four or five hours of sleep, that's fine. But I'm just here to give you a message and that message is that you're watching this to get more rest and get more sleep and you'll see how much better life is because you have a, a way of turning right of ha turning things right around and your manifestation powers won't work <laughs> that's right the things that we use um, with ourselves to attract what we need into our lives and that we are using the law of attraction which is positive thinking to bring things towards us and it also works in reverse too negative thinking actually attracts more um, reasons to for negative things to happen so you know it's important that you take care of your body and that's actually the second card the third card I, there are four cards came out here I felt the need to pull four today so the third card is the Empress and she is exactly that she is all about self-care self-love and beauty if you see this card if you can see it close up she's a pregnant woman and she's abundant and she's happy and she's all about fertility and creation and she's got a cat she's got a dog and she is extreme she's blessed and she is enjoying herself and I'm you know what's the role of a pregnant woman okay so that you you may say am I gonna be pregnant well maybe so maybe if you're looking to have a baby maybe that's a message for you but that's not for everybody okay because this is a reading for the collective and what I mean by that is a pregnant woman, well, the, a baby, um, the fetus grows in the womb. It's an embryo and it turns into a fetus and it turns into a baby. And this is the idea as it goes through different stages, trimester. And you like carrying a baby is just uh, the most magical, beautifulest thing. If you've ever like carried a baby <laughs> or had a baby, you know what I'm talking about. It's just interesting because you're creating a life. Or if it, if it doesn't apply to you, don't worry if you're a guy watching this, it doesn't matter because it's just, the idea of growth that's what it means that's my point here okay because I try to give the message to everybody that's watching here not just to one person but if it relates to you take what you need leave what you don't don't want to offend anybody <laughs> that's not my intention but my point is that when you are taking care of yourself and nurturing yourself and you're growing she is mother earth you know and when we take care of our earth it flourishes it's sunshine it's beauty it's happiness and this is what it's telling you that you need to take care of yourself and take care of the body take care of the mind by you know just just getting out into nature that's what the empress is and it's also a lot of nature around her you see the trees or she's surrounded by apples and you know what they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away right and then we got the nine of pentacles which is investing your time and receiving gain. So I always see the Nine of Pentacles as a beautiful card relating to business. And um, as you can see, she is sitting there reading her book and she's really peaceful. It's a nice summer day and she's, she's investing her time into herself, you know, that's basically what the reading is all telling you. All, the, all of these cards here is telling you, you need to invest the time into yourself, mind, body, and spirit. And when I say mind, uh, when I say body, I just mean take care of your health by sleeping. The mind, you know, let that go. Let that stuff go. Just look at what you have here and, and just know that everything that, everything is in the past, it's the past. Leave it there. You can't bring the past, but things can come back 
but you can't try to control it. That's what it's telling you. And the four source, oh, four source is about the sleep. The Empress is about nourish, nourishing the body and taking care of the body and just getting in touch with the divine feminine within yourself and just knowing that everything that's happening is happening for a reason and it's going to pass. And it's, you are here for a reason. Everything that's happening to you is for a reason. Just like the mother, she's, um, she's having a baby. That's, you know, it's a beautiful story. It's a story of life. And that is what you are doing. Whatever's happening in your life is happening for a reason. And everything is going to birth in your life. You're going to have a birth in your life in some way, because the nine of pentacles is actually, pentacles are earth. And I always see the, the nine of pentacles as like, a return on your investment <laughs> it's a really good thing so your ships are coming in whatever that may be it may be about business it may be about love whatever that is and it all depends when I say love because love is a tricky um, thing because we cannot we can predict the time frame for many things in our life of how long it's gonna take for um, our, well, this video to upload to YouTube <laughs> <laughs> or how long it's going to be, you know, like certain things we can, but when it comes to, um, like for, oh, I should, I should say this freeway, driving on the freeway, we know how long that trip is going to take us. But when it comes to love, we can't make someone love us when we want them to love us. We can't make them open up when we want them to open up. So we have to just take care of ourselves and just allow things just to be and just say, okay, it will happen when it's divine timing. And you know, you always hear me say that. And, uh, I will say that until it permeates and it, it sinks down into your mental mind and you know, okay, well, hmm, I'm just going to just let it sit there and just, you know, this things are happening by divine timing because you know, listen to your intuition, listen to your heart because your heart knows. I promise, I promise you, you're going to get what is in your highest good. Whatever's not in your highest good will not transpire, you know. Do what you've got to do, meditate, exercise, drink lots of water, very important, sleep, you know, and do the things that you love to do. You know, yeah, we don't really like to do our taxes or do those kind of things. And, you know, I don't feel like doing that, you know, but you know what, if you, you'll realize that if, even if you're doing something that you don't love to do, but it's proactive and it's being, you know, you're being, um, you're, you're doing things that what, what you need to do even if you don't like it, it's still a good thing because you just got to tap into not so much of, I don't want to do it, but more like, I'm just going to do it and just get it over with and just be in the moment. Tap into your heart, focus on that. And I promise that it'll all turn around for you. Yes. There's more to it. Yes, absolutely. And it, whatever jumps up into your mind out and you say, yeah, I'm thinking of this. That's the message for you. You know, that is the message. It's okay to relax and put it down <laughs> okay and i hope that this reading was helpful for you if you're interested in getting a longer reading go to my website psychic soulmate reading.com don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter and also if you're watching i'm taping this i'm actually recording this for youtube and um, instagram and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well I really appreciate, I love the support. Thank you all so much for visiting, watching me every week and always or ever, anytime I post videos, I appreciate the love and I send it back to you. I'm wishing you the most beautifulest, harmonious, awesome, awesome day. Peace and blessings to you all.